Good day, children, and welcome to Bookworm Story Time. Today we want to tell you about a very special girl called Sadako, and we are going to show you some of the pictures in a beautiful book by Elena Kaur and Ed Young, which is also called Sadako. Sadako is a story that is set in the 1950s in Japan, particularly in Hiroshima in Japan. We feel all of you will know and remember from your history lessons that there was an atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. And from that time onwards, on August 6th, there is a celebration, a memorable day, a memory making event where August 6th is considered to be Peace Day. A day where we want to remember peace in the world. Sadako was very much a part of this memory making peace day. In the 50s, she was a young girl. The story begins when she's 11 years old. And she gets up very excited on August 6th because she's going to go to Peace Park with her friend Chizoko. She wakes up her family and says, come on, let's get ready, let's go. And very excitedly, when her friend Chizoko comes to meet her, they both run off to Peace Park, knowing that they will make rice paper lanterns, release many, many white doves for peace, and also remember everybody who died and suffered in the atomic bombings. Sadako is also a very athletic girl, and she loves running, and she loves racing, and in school at this time, she's selected for a very big relay race. And she finds as she practices that sometimes she gets breathless, sometimes she's not feeling very well, but she pushes that down because she wants to win the race for her class. However, after this big race is won, Sadako really feels very ill. She falls down, she collapses, and she has to be taken to hospital. Sadako is also a young girl who believes in good luck signs and good omens. So she looks for things that will bring her good energy, but it doesn't help. Sadako gets moved to hospital where she learns that she has what she calls the atom bomb disease. That was leukemia, blood cancer, that many, many victims of the atom bomb suffered from. So now Sadako's in hospital and Chizoko comes to meet her. And Chizoko is a lovely friend. She says to her one day, Sadako, do you know the legend about the cranes? If a sick person folds 1,000 paper cranes, the gods will grant her wish and make her well again. And from that moment on, Sadako, Chizoko, all family and friends begin to fold paper cranes, wanting Sadako and the world to be well again. So today we also fold a paper crane and we invite you to fold a paper crane with us so that we continue to hope for peace in this world. For the next few days, Sadako drifted in and out of a strange kind of half sleep, while also when she was awake folding paper cranes as much as she could. Her parents sat by her bedside. One day, Sadako says, when I die, hush, Mr. Sasaki said, that will not happen for many, many more years. Don't give up now, Sadako-chan. You have to make only a few hundred more paper cranes. But as Sadako grew weaker, she wondered, did it hurt to die? Or was it like falling asleep? Would she live on a heavenly mountain or star? She fumbled with a piece of paper and clumsily folded one more bird. 644.
mother came in and felt her forehead. She gently took the paper away. As Sadako closed her eyes, she heard her mother whisper, O oh, flock of heavenly cranes, cover my child with your wings. Sadako Sasaki died on October 25th, 1955. Her friends and classmates worked together to fold 353 paper cranes so that she would be buried with 1,000. In a way, she got her wish. And in a way, till today, in Hiroshima Peace Park, hundreds and thousands of school children continue to fold paper cranes mountains of paper cranes every year on peace day so that the world will remember this wish this wish for peace this is our cry this is our prayer peace in the world